Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I will be doing a fun Friday video today, and this today will be super fun. I'm doing a video I have not done in such a long time, um, and it'll be a trippy art doodle with me video. I'm just getting to a uh, blank page here. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to do some trippy doodles. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to take out a marker or a pencil or a pen, any sort of paper that you want. Um, and, or you can use your iPad if you have the Procreate app to do all this. But, um, for the sake of, I have not touched my sketchbook in such a long time. I'm using my sketchbook today. So without further ado, let's just get right into the doodles. So I do quite um, much different doodles um, when it comes to my trippy art stuff. Uh, the first one that I like to do, uh, typically when there's like a blank page like this, um, I'll either do a Saturn, which is like a circle with almost like an oval around it, but you don't complete it here. You just go like that. So that could be something that you add. Um, you could color in the planet itself as well to go like that. Um, another thing you could do is just add a moon. So you just go like this and then add a little C underneath it. And then fill it in. And you could add some stars around it if you want. Kind of going with a space theme here. <laughs> um, you could do a sun as well next to it, because why not? <laughs> so I just do a circle for my suns. And then I do this like backward S shape. And then I basically mimic what I did next to it. And then I put a curved line at the bottom. And that's how I make every single ray. Um, sometimes I'll get a little fancy and just like not do it the same way every time, um, like that. Um, but it kind of just is preference, I guess. <laughs> so just like that, and then you can color it all in. And now that we kind of have some central objects, we can kind of build around these objects. <laughs> For example, you can literally trace around the whole entire thing, just like so. Just trace all around, go into all the grooves, especially when there's a dip. Just go like this and then connect it. Now this gives us some room to kind of add some trippy elements. For example, you can add a swirl. So you just start here and you go like this and you can just keep going like that or you can start adding little bumps to it. Adding the bumps are super fun, just makes it, you know, and then you just trace it. You just kind of, you know, mimic what you did before and kind of just repeat that. There's our little swirl. Another one you could do, I don't really know what to call this one, so I'm just gonna show you it. Add a little bump, connect a little bump next to it, and just keep going like so. And you could just do, keep on doing that if you want. Another one is you're just going to start at any point, it doesn't matter, and you just kind of do a little line like that, and then make a point, make it real fat going all the way back down, just like so. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did over here, but inside of this shape that you just made. Just like so. And 
And then you could just kind of add a lag, which is also another type of trippy doodle. So you start here and just kind of go down and go down to a point. And then you boom, go like that. And then do the same thing as you did before. Bump out again, same thing, bump out again, curve line, bump out again, curve line, bump out again, curve line. And you do it all the way until you get to the end like that. And then you could just mimic it, as I like to call it, make it mimic the outline. Just like so, keep it all together. And now you can get kind of funky with it if you want um, and pretend that a flower is growing off of this doodle and just kind of repeat the petals like so. And you can color in the center part there. You could add dots in these if you want to. And then I'm just gonna mimic outline this to keep it enclosed. Another one you could do is little circles. So you literally just add all these little circles. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Just be sure that they are super close next to each other like that. And then mimic outline once you complete it just to keep it all together. And those are some pretty basic doodles that you could do. Another one that you could actually do that I just thought of is you just do some random line like that. And let's just connect this little point there just so we have an enclosed thing. And then you just mimic outline that shape you just made all the way until you fill in that spot. Just like so. And then you could just kind of fill up the whole entire page if you like. We can do just like a normal, you know, little swirly swirl over here. <laughs> you can even add just random shapes. For example, let's add a heart here and then you could add like dots in it if you want. I don't know, whatever floats your boat. And then you mimic outline this. Mimic outlining honestly just makes it more like a ripple effect. Um, but yeah, it's just super duper fun to do all these different doodles. Um, I love just doing them sometimes just when I'm bored or whatever. And it just kind of distracts your mind a lot. You can honestly, if you're not an artist yourself, you can honestly do these doodles. I feel like anyone could do these doodles and just use it as like a coping skill to get through your anxiety or depression because honestly, you're making a work of art in the process, which is super cool in and of itself. And why not just kind of get lost in doodling. A lot of people think that they can't draw, which in fact, pretty much all humans can draw in one place or another. You might not be a top artist. I'm not saying that I'm a top artist by any means, but you know, just having fun with just adding art to paper just makes it so much more fun. And you're healing yourself in the process by doing these little doodles to express how you feel. Maybe you add these types when you're feeling stressed. Maybe you add these when you're feeling anxious. Maybe you add swirls when you're feeling sad. Maybe you can kind of just like label each thing as like an emotion that you're feeling in your art journal or wherever you do your art stuff and you know use that as a way to kind of track like oh in this page seems like I was feeling this particular way for me I don't really use that kind of method but that that was just a super awesome idea I just thought of to be honest I'm just gonna do that I don't know I felt like doing that 
Um, but yeah, honestly, super easy to fill up a page with these doodles. Like, we've only been sitting here for 10 minutes and I, we've already drawn this much, which is insane. But I'm just gonna add a couple more doodles and we'll, I'll finish this page on my own time. But I figured I would make this little fun Friday video for you guys to get you inspired. Even if you don't consider yourself an artist or a creative person, you can definitely do these doodles for sure. I mean, even just adding lines to paper and then coloring them in after, making your own little coloring pages is also a valid thing to do. Oh, I forgot to even show you guys how to do drips. So while we're here and there is a big spot over here, you basically just kind of draw these teardrop shapes in various different sizes, just like so. And that's a drip. <laughs> but what I like to do is kind of mimic outline in each one. Just like so. And then again, just add whatever you're kind of feeling, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just whatever you're feeling like doodling, just kind of let your hand do its thing, you know? I mean, while we're here, I might as well finish the page. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add a smiley face here, because I don't know. I just feel like adding a smiley face. Look how cute. Then I'm gonna add like little flower petals around it. Mimic outline this whole thing. We'll do a swirl here. And then over here, we'll just do like a random, random doodle. Mimic outline on this side. And then we'll just do the bumps in here. And there we go. We just filled up the whole entire page with trippy doodles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you guys want me to do more. Uh, maybe start off with a different color or a central image or something that you guys want me to teach you how to draw. 
but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys all next week with some new videos bye guys